आइंदा अगर मेरी तरफ आंख उठाने की कोशिश की तो मुझसे बुरा कोई नहीं होगा याद रखना If you already got a snippet of our monthly episode, you'll already have an idea of what this video is all about. Welcome to the Matlab Kuch Bhi episode where we look back at some of the most problematic, bizarre, regressive and illogical movie sequences that you won't believe are either celebrated or the norm of commercial Indian cinema. While some woke elements of the audience will call me out for being a hypocrite for calling out our old cinema and its features while giving a pass to a show like Friends, trust me, these examples that I'm going to provide will eclipse and overshadow any of the deep concerning issues that you may have had with that celebrated show. Get ready for some partially hilarious but deeply disturbing sequences. So here is Tried and Refused Productions with five absolutely bizarre Indian movie scenes that will leave you speechless. Once upon a time in Mumbai dobara I remember at one point of time I had created a video talking about the obsession of Hindi cinema in portraying Daud Ibrahim the video had looked past this obsession and compared from the best to the worst portrayals of the dreaded gangster Who definitely took the cake of probably the most over the top portrayal was Akshay Kumar from the 2013 film Once Upon a Time in Mumbai Dubara. More than the creative route taken by the actor, I think what completely took away from the performance and made it so cringe worthy were its unbearable dialogues written by Rajat Arora. While on one hand the movie became a part of the list of unnecessarily and horribly executed sequels, ruining the legacy of the first film which was well awesome. It also made a character that we should fear unintentionally funny. The character of Shoaib Khan was never clear when he spoke, almost entirely dependent on analogies like this. Dudh mein nimbu jisne dala paneer uska. If that wasn't enough, take this one for example. Meter kitna bhi tez bhag le, taxi se aage nahi bhag sakta. Sometimes I wanted to just stop the character and ask him. Are kehna kya chahte ho? The man seemed frustrated with the opposite sex as well having trouble in love the man says this Aajkal pyar na naukrani jaisa ho gaya hai Aata hai bell bajata hai kaam karta hai aur chala jata hai Paneer aur prem ke baad Shoaib Khan aam ko bhi nahi chhodte Aam aadmi aam hi ki tarah hote hain koi unhe choos leta hai to fir koi unhe kaat deta hai Kabhi kabhi to koi use kha bhi jata hai You can literally make an entire compilation of his absurd dialogues. Oh, wait a minute. Poguru. I happened to come across a Kannada film titled Poguru starring Dhruva Sarja and Rashmika in lead roles. The reason why I went to watch the film was because the song titled Karabu had been sent to me by loads of subscribers. The song primarily showcases the main hero surrounding and hounding the heroine as they thrust their fists and push their pelvis in the air. The choreography entails more or less the heroine walking away constantly as the hero pulls her hair back, pulls her in with his legs as she struggles, shows her a knife as if to threaten her with his advances, and all of this is presented with the attempt to be protected under the garb of mindless commercial cinema. As I further explore the movie, it actually justifies the actions of the hero by giving him a sad backstory. He constantly harasses the woman in the film, but it makes sense in the creator's mind as he never received the love of his own mother. The film apparently took 4 years to be made and it still blows my mind as it is not revolutionary in any way strictly from a storyline perspective. The hero of the film barges into the house of the girl to demand for an apology after she had complained to the police that he burst crackers only for this to be said. Agar main peeche pad gaya na to tumhara pura khandan milkar bhi ap unse peecha nahi chhoda sakta. He also appears in her house to ask for her hand in marriage. She constantly denies his advances, saying that he is repulsive. But as the people of the chol tell the heroine of his traumatic past, every moment of physical abuse and toxicity is forgotten. A classic case of Stockholm syndrome that was tough to go through. A film that surprisingly released in 2021. Have you seen this movie?
What do you think of it? I really want to know this through the Kannada viewers. I've heard that Dhruva Sarja is a talented actor that shouldn't be doing such misinformed projects in the guise of commercial cinema. Let me know in the comments below. Kaash aap hamare hote. There are many mistakes that artists make in their career. One thing that is common in the film industry is when popular singers think that they can act. Their voices make them national sensations, but this leads to a self-belief that develops within them that often transitions to become delusion. One such case was in the early 2000s when Sonu Nigam thought that he could act his socks off. While we love his melodious tunes, it was his acting performances that fans wanted to hide from the general public. You may know his Oscar-winning performances in Jani Dushman and Love in Nepal, but you don't know about another gem called Kaash Aap Hamare Hote that released in 2003. Om Puri asked for a girl's hand in marriage for his son. And both parties say yes for all the wrong reasons. One who feels indebted because he raised her and the other one who says yes because otherwise Papa ki sari jayadad kisi aur ko de denge. Obviously, the Sohag Rath ends up like this. I'm very tired. Mm. Let me go to sleep. They end up in Canada where the dude's girlfriend is there and well, long story short, it leads to this. The husband tries to kill the new wife but she flees away with Johnny Lever in a random role pretending to know the indigenous population and mouthing gibberish helps her escape. This is when our acting legend Sonu enters and oh my god the performance is off the charts as the heroine who has fled away squats in his house. Indian? Okay. Uh par yahan kaise? I know drop. <laughs> You know go. <laughs> Nothing can beat his roasting skills in this movie. Upon seeing that the girl is in distress, this is how the man saves the day. Kya ho raha hai? Ajoy. Abey ye teri property hai kya? Mind your tongue, Jack. Tell her you bloody fellow. You bloody fellow. Except the soulful Sonu Nigam tracks, this movie is just painful. Triple A. STR better known as Simbu is a Tamil actor that has worked in the industry for several years. One of the most annoying films that I witnessed on Amazon Prime Video was a film in which he had a triple role, better termed as Triple A. What is so problematic about the film? For one, it has unnecessary jabs taken on a fellow contemporary like Nayantara. Simbu who plays an old man in the film is referenced as an STR fan, which means that he loves to bite lips. To which an old woman who fancies Simbu's character states that she is unfazed as she is a Nayantara fan. Just for context, both these actors dated once upon a time and had some intimate photos leaked to the public. Irrespective of that embarrassing moment, in one of his roles in the film, the hero peeps inside a house as the heroine is about to get undressed. He ogles at her until her father gets electrocuted and the hero comes to save the day. On the pretext to save the woman's father, the man agrees to do so only if the girl will love him. Verbatim stating that a virgin man like him wants his first kiss to be with a virgin girl. How romantic, right? Force the girl to promise you that she will love you as her father is on the brink of death. There is also a cringe love story as STR plays an old man with Tamanna and a sequence of a boy threatening suicide as his girlfriend of 3 years still hasn't slept with him. The movie is quite the pain to go through. I'm curious to know what Tamil viewers have to say about it. Do tell me in the comments below. Pyar ka devta This Mithun Stara is probably the most unintentionally funny. A man desperate to get his sister married agrees to give 25,000 rupees in dowry. When the proceedings are stopped on the day of the wedding, the groom's parents demanding for 1 lakh, Mithun unable to pay the amount gives them gyan about Bharatiya Sanskriti and the rights of women. When Shakti Kapoor surprises his sister Madhuri Dikshit that he is getting his marriage arranged on that same day, his reasoning is something that will make anyone scratch their head in disbelief. Hum mahan khandan ke log hain. हमारे खानदान की लड़कियों से ना तो शादी की बात की जाती है और ना ही उनकी राय ली जाती है ये हमारे खानदान का बहुत पुराना रिवाज है वॉट टेक्स द केक हाउ एवर इज शक्ति कपूर कन्विक्शन विद वॉट ही सेज लिटरली अक्षय कुमार इज शोएब खान वुड मेक अनालॉजीज बट वॉट अबाउट विलन दैट रियली मीन वॉट दे से आई मीन दिस डायलॉग फॉलोड बाई दिस एक्शन सीक्वेंस हैज टू बी द फनियस्ट थिंग आई सीन बहुत दिनों तक तेरे भाई और पति ने मुझे फुटबॉल समझ कर हवा में उछाला मेरी इज्जत के साथ खेला आज मैं तेरे साथ फुटबॉल खेलूंगा फुटबॉल And that was the video guys. Write down in the comments below whether you have some video ideas for our channel. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. The handle is right in front of you. Follow me at jammypants4. 
Also, please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead. Thank you for watching.